Alright, hello again, adventurers, and welcome to my daily December 2021 recap video, uh, and what I have learned. So, so, so um, yeah, it is, uh, it is mind-blowing to, 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 to me that... I have been doing this since 2013. And I believe every year I have gotten 31 v -V videos out. Um, a lot of them, I didn't quite get them out within de 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 December. But I believe every one of them I've gotten it, it, it out. And each year is a little bit d -d different. And I try and do something a little new each, each, each year. Um, and yeah, it just... When, when I when I did this in 2013, I was brand new to, 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 to YouTube. Uh, I was brand new to kick a content cook creation. Um, and I did it because it was effectively a tag um, video. If, uh, if you have no idea what I'm referencing there, way back when, when the world was n -n new and pure, there was a f -f phenomenon called tag videos. Basically, uh, tag videos were a thing on your YouTube uh, that you did when you didn't really have any other cookie content. And they're actually a really great way to get uh, uh, new followers and stuff because the way that the tag video worked was there would be this list of information It'd be like favorite cat favorite dog favorite and what you would do is you would go through the the the, the list and then at the end of the, the, the video you would tag a bunch of other cooker creators it was a way to kind of informally um uh collaborate uh with someone without ever having to talk to them or anything like that and they were really really big because they they were good at getting you into new viewers so way back into 2013 uh there was a bunch of us brand new v -v vloggers uh that didn't make it into the geek and sundry vloggers um and we all just kind of banded together to do this thing i can't remember who had the idea for first but it was it was a big thing Back into the 2013, a daily the, the December or Vlogmas was the other one. Uh, I know um, uh, Dodger um, Thorn now. Uh, she used to be Dodger Lay. Um, uh, Dex Bonus uh, was her Chicha channel. Uh, she did it for a little, a little while. And anyway, so that was 2013, and I was doing it effectively as a way to grow my Chicha channel and just get into the idea of daily vlogging because. Way back then, daily vlogging was the big thing. You know, people like Casey Neistat uh, uh, had turned it into an art form. Uh, and, you know, the biggest channels on YouTube were daily vlogs and the, the things like that. Or some of the biggest, not the absolute biggest, but some of the biggest w w way back when were daily vloggers. Uh, so much has just changed since then. Uh, probably the biggest of which is... Uh, of all the people I started with, I am the only person I know that every December still does this. Um, and I uh, will 100% understand why. It's a pain in the ass. It's a lot of work. Um, and uh, to be b b blunt, uh, they're not popular at all. Um, I, uh, I generally see a pretty decent uptick uh, uptick in views uh and time watched simply because uh i've put up 31 v -v videos in 31 days and so you know even if people only watch one or two of them compared to putting up generally eight videos in th the 31 day -d -d days it's it's just a lot um but uh, a lot of them don't have a, a whole lot of ink engagement um, because of the kind of random and the nature of the, 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 the them. Um, they don't tend to show up in searches or anything like that. I realized about halfway through um, this year that I probably need to start naming them differently because 
all that will show up in a preview is daily December 20, 2021 day dot dot dot. Uh, and so no one can actually see what the topic is of any of these videos unless I start making custom thumbnails. And that's just not something I can do for my daily de December. There's, I already put more work than I can really afford into them uh, from a mental health perspective. So, yeah. Um, so it's been weird seeing everyone kind of drop off, but I still f -f feel, I still f -f feel that this is an important part of my channel every single year. Every year I learn something in a new, um, and uh, as I m m mentioned many times before, uh, this time of year is really, really, really b -b bad for me. So having an outlet where I can do something creative, uh, cre creatively f -f 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 fulfilling f -f 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 for, for me uh, is, is nice. Uh, so that being said, let's talk about the, the, this year. Um, this year was a little bit more random, uh, than m -m -m most, uh, mostly because, uh, the big thing I did this year was my, my four one shot games and oh, did a dear God, um, that took so much time and uh, the, the effort like, I, I was completely overwhelmed uh, by just how big a task it was to learn four brand new RPG systems, each one in a week, well enough to run a one-shot where I am instructing people how to put a play. Um, it, it was really, really hard on me. And so uh, Daily December, it's this itself... Um, was was really more of a kind of relaxing uh, th th thing than it was in other years where it was like, okay, come on, I got to push myself to do this. Uh, Daily December stuff was like, oh, I don't have to learn a b b b b brand new RPG system to today. So I can just talk about wh 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 whatever I want. Uh, so that was kind of wh wh weird. It kind of shows how my b b brain will will kind of deal with, with being overwhelmed. Um as far as actually uh, doing uh, the uh, the one shots, that was super super f -f fun. I had an absolute f -f 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 blast. I don't think I did any of them justice uh, as far as the system is concerned. I just a week is not long enough for me to learn an entire system. Even uh, like the strange that I had read so many t -t times b -b 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 before, um, I did not know the system well enough to really r r run it well um and that was probably the second smoothest of the giga games i ran uh the avatar legends uh was another one that that one i think the rough part about avatar L -L 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 legends was the fact that i didn't actually have the system i just had the starter set and the starter set is really really l -l 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 limited basically the starter set is only good enough for you to run the introductory adventure and even that the introductory adventure compared to most you know starter adventures and stuff is super super b -b bare bones because the system itself is kind of b -b -b bare bones and it's open to interpretation in that and so what normally would have been probably a uh like a 20-ish page uh a 20-ish page uh, thing, not including monster stat blocks and stuff like that, like a 20 page adventure, uh, was really only about three or four pages long because all it was was, okay, here's your goal. Here's a few descriptions of places you could go. Here's a really poorly drawn map. Go for it. And that was it. And uh, but, but, but because of that, uh, that part of that made it really freeing to run because it, it meant that I really could do whatever I want. Like that fire, uh, uh, the fire flakes contest had, n there was nothing about that in, uh, uh, the thing itself. It was something I just made up on the spot and it was really, really fun. I had an absolute b -b 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 blast, uh, doing it. Um, but it did mean uh, that the adventure itself did feel a little bit kind of directionless to a, a point because I, I didn't have things that I could link onto because I didn't know the system very well. 
and I was telling somebody, I was telling so, uh, a, a story written by someone else, but not written in detail enough that I could just go from plot point to p -p plot point. It was super, super open ended. Um, so that was interesting. And then probably the one I think went the absolute best was Library Cats. That's because it's designed to be run off the cuff in a one shot. And it was super, super fun. I would love to do m -m more of those. Um, uh, and then uh, Dune was probably the one that I, I ran the worst. Um, and none of these, I think, went poorly. I think everyone had fun. B -b but uh, Dune uh, by far was the most complicated s -s -s system. It was the most alien system to, 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 to me because uh, the, the system itself is re remarkably novel in how it runs. Like most... Most RPGs kind of fall into a bit of a rut. You're going to have your characters, they're going to have stats, and the stats are generally going to be either five or six, and you're going to have a strength stat, an agility or dexterity, excuse me, an agility or dexterity stat, an intelligence stat, a constitution style stat, sometimes it's called fortitude, a wisdom style stat, and a charisma style stat. And sometimes they will ditch the charisma stat completely. Sometimes uh, they will ditch the wisdom stat or the intelligence stat or just merge them into one if they only have a five. But that's generally what you're going to have in almost any ARP of a PG. And then you're going to, to, to have attack rolls and uh, things like that. Or maybe you'll have saving throws or defense rolls is effectively what the, the, those are. And that's really how every single... RPG works. You'll have a number that you have to hit. You you roll a d20. You add a number to to it. That's how it goes. Doom did it doesn't do that. Um, uh, your rolls uh, aren't really modified. Uh, by uh, your rolls aren't modified at all. You're just rolling the d d d d d20. Um, and the thing that changes is the difficulty cookie class, which is it's interesting. It's kind of similar to how uh, um, uh, the cipher system w w works. But then, uh, but just with how open ended this, this system is, you use basically the same resolution structure for uh, a a large scale war where you are controlling multiple squadrons of units that you do for uh, a short conversation between, you know, a player and an NPC where they're trying to haggle down a price. Like, it uses the exact same setup. You you effectively roll initiative, kind of, and, and like, it's every one of those is, is basically a combat encounter, but but different. So, yeah, it was, it was weird. I'm not saying it's a bad system. I think it's a, a phenomenal system, but it is not a system um, that you can learn in a week. Oh, wow. Was that rough? Um, <clears throat> so overall, um, I think the experiment itself was just as successful in the fact that I finally got to run systems that I haven't gotten to run b b b before. Um, it's definitely something I, I think I might try and do again sometime. I don't know how or when. It might be something that I do as part of Daily December going f -f forward. It might not. I don't, don't, don't know. But it was uh, as much as I uh, uh, I was overwhelmed by it, it, it a lot. I think it was a positive enough experience that it's it's something I may want to try to repeat eventually. It's not something I'm going to repeat anytime soon. Um, like next December might be the earliest I would do to do it, and there's still a good chance I'll skip next to December. It was it was that much uh, that ta uh, to the taxing uh, on me. That being said, generally, I, I try every year to implement something uh, from Daily December into my regular video structure, at least for a couple of months. Um, and this one, I'm, I'm coming up a little bit to try. Um, and probably the b b biggest reason for, 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 for that is, unlike every other year up until, until this, I actually have a really well-established video schedule that I've actually stuck to for about a year now with some, you know, with some skips every so often, but, um, every Monday and Wednesday I put out, uh, a, 
a and d deep dive. And I have done that almost every week. I've taken a couple off for mental health and that, but like I have a set schedule. Uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays, um, I'm still planning on uh, uh, doing that as TJ uh, pl TJ and for her friends play. I haven't had a chance to uh, just sit down and record more episodes in a long to the time, but that's what I want to do eventually. And so adding something to, to, to that uh, just doesn't make sense for, 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 for me right now. Um, and I don't think would be really great for my, 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 my channel. I'm, I'm starting, I'm finally starting to get to the point where uh, my channel has a bit of um, its own identity. Uh, for the longest time, my channel was just, these are the random videos that I put up. Um, and after doing everything that I did, 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 did with, uh, the, uh, Final Fantasy, uh, for 14 cross D and D, uh, group and all the people I met on the subreddit there, um, and doing, you know, uh, uh, you know, seeing the stuff that happened with, uh, William SRD and, and, and having him feature me in a Viva video, which I'm still super, super, super thrilled about, um, and the more focus I've been putting on the D&D stuff, I am, I'm really starting to feel much, much more comfortable with the, the idea that uh, the Trainer Jody channel is a D&D channel. And while I'm not planning on rebranding right now, um, having having most of my content kind of float around D and D and RPGs in general just feels right. It's a huge part of my life right now. It's the thing that it, it seems most of the people that watch my stuff on a regular basis tend to be uh, RPG FIFA fans, whether or not they are um, watching my RG, uh, uh, RPG related content. You know, when I talk about other things, the the people that comment and 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 you know, interact with them most tend to be people that found me through my D and D stuff. Um, so yeah. Um, so I, I don't have a new show that I'm going to be launching in January, which is kind of new for me. Normally I do one thing uh, I do want to do, to do, and this is something that the reason I'm not, you know, announcing that I'm launching something or anything, th 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 thing like that is because this isn't something I can uh, uh, do because, um, for those of you that m may not know, uh, Wednesday nights, uh, on my t t Twitch channel, I run D and D kick campaigns. I actually have two different campaigns on, uh, the first and third Wednesday of the month. I run traversing the veil and on the second and f f fourth Wednesdays of the m m month, uh, I run, um, legend of the three kingdoms. They are two, uh, different campaigns that are both set in my, my, my custom world uh, called uh, Mendacia. Um, and uh, I run those on Mobile Wednesdays. I have, I have two different groups. There's a little bit of overlap between the two, two, two groups. But um, one of the things that I would like to start doing is on a fairly regular basis to run one shots instead of those kick campaigns. However, with how the campaigns are set up currently, where we only get to play twice a month for a couple hours, because I generally don't run longer than maybe two or th the three hours for a session, because that's just that's that's how long my anxiety will let me run a giga game for. I, I generally can't go any little longer than that, or I, I have really really bad p p panic attacks. Um, it wouldn't really be fair to. Like, I, I thought about maybe, well, maybe once a month I'll do a, uh, uh, I'll do a, uh, a one shot in a different system or something like that. But that would mean one of my campaigns would only get one session for that entire month, and the other one would get to the two. And there really isn't a good way to do that. Uh, only running these sessions twice a month for like two to two ish hours is already. Uh, doing a bit of a disservice uh, to, to, to the players, and so that's not something that I can, can do. I thought about on the months that actually have uh, five Wednesdays, of which I think there's like four a year, three or four a year. 
Um, uh, I thought maybe I would, you know, maybe want to try doing uh, something like that. But even that, a lot of times I use those, uh, those uh, fifth Wednesdays to make up for games that I've had to cancel for w w whatever reason. So even that does make a whole lot of sense. And running on another night is just not something I personally can handle um, stress-wise. Again, uh, again, for those of you that don't know, um, I am uh, disabled. Uh, I am officially d -d -d disabled, as in Social Security uh, of the U.S. government considers me 100% permanent and total disabled. Uh, I cannot, uh, uh, I cannot work. Um, and, uh, I, I, again, my, my official designation for the, from, um, uh, the social security office is 100% permanent and total. Um, so, so, so I'm, I'm, I'm never getting b -b 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 better, at least as far as they're c -c -c concerned. Um, and to be blunt, most of my therapists kind of, uh, uh, agree with that statement. The idea that I would ever be able to hold a regular job is is a pretty distant dream to be b -b blunt that is how bad my brain is m -m 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 messed up um, so uh, I because of my anxiety I tend to push myself really really hard because it's it's a way that I I, I cope with my anxiety it's it's not a healthy way to do it um, but it's effectively, uh, it's called high functioning anxiety is what people call it. But basically you, you, uh, people that have uh, uh, anxiety, one of the ways they will sometimes deal with it is they, they just do everything. They're just constantly doing something. At one point uh, when I was in high school, I was in three different stage productions simultaneously. I was doing uh, the spring show uh, in high school. I was doing a community theater show. And then I was also also doing the Easter musical uh, at my church. Um, I, I've always been someone that just does a lot of things. Again, again, I was in marching band and jazz band and regular band and in choir and in carolers and, and, and in show choir and... and uh, in a bunch of different jazz k -k 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 combos. Um, and I, I did uh, uh, forensics and, and uh, academic decathlon or whatever. It is. They, they had a word for it that I can't remember anymore. But I did that. Like, I just, I did every th 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 thing. Um, and I eventually had just a full-blown psychotic break. Uh, I was hospitalized. The doctor tried to kill me. Um, and, uh, uh, since then I can barely, I can barely f function. And so putting out, you know, a few videos a week and then running a, a single, uh, D and D session, uh, on Wednesday nights is pushing myself to the limits right now. So adding another one just so I could, could run different systems is not something that I, uh, I think is possible, but. Um, it is something that I'm going to bring up with both of my Giga groups. Uh, just because a, a, another thing, uh, I miss playing RPGs. Like, I, don't get me wrong. I love running RPGs. I really do. I have, I have so many different campaigns that I'm never going to be able to run that I've completely designed. And I know exactly how I'd run them. And I, I literally just need players and the time to do it. Um... Uh, so I, I absolutely adore being a DM and, and things like that. But I also enjoy playing every so often. So I think I'm going to talk with both of my Google groups and probably even the Realms of the Wild uh, of folks and just go, hey, I had a lot of fun playing things that aren't D&D. &D. It's not that I don't like D&D. &D. I love d and I think D&D &D 5th Edition, I, again, it is currently the best RPG on the market right now hands down it is a phenomenal phenomenal game but i have played it a lot again since fifth edition launched i have probably two or three thousand hours worth of game time uh both playing and and, and, and dming the vast majority of it is dming but i used to play too back during the adventures league when i could do conventions 
um, I, I generally got to, to play two or three times a weekend. Um, so, uh, I, I miss playing. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk with the, 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 the people that I, I actually play with and see if anyone wants... Maybe after one of these campaigns ends, the next campaign that runs in its place won't be DM'd by me. Who knows? Uh, or maybe we'll do... Um, something I've been really interested in trying out is uh, what's called a Wild Marches, or, uh, Wild Marches campaign, which is effectively... Um, you have a bunch of different characters uh, and uh, a few different DMs that will rotate. And so uh, uh, it's kind of similar to how the Adventurers League operates, where you have all these different adventures in the same basic area. So it makes sense that adventurers will kind of move between parties, depending on what's going on at the time. Kind of a, a similar thing to that, though on a significantly smaller scale. Um, so maybe uh, uh, eventually I'll try like a Wild Marshes um, uh, style g -g 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 game where I DM for a little bit and then another DM will, will, will uh, DM for a, a storyline and, and the roster of players changes uh, fairly regularly. You know, that might be fun. I don't know. I just, I know I want to try and get out uh, a little bit of the rut that I've, I've put myself in where I'm always did DMing and I'm almost always DMing D and D uh, again, uh, realms of the wild has been an absolute blessing because I get to run a different system. Uh, and it's super, super fun. And the, the players are amazing and wonderful. Um, but I just, I, I want to try some new, 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 uh, new things and, uh, it is. It has been a, a wonderfully refreshing running these different systems, and there's a bunch of things I'm going to bring into my games that I learned from these other systems. Um, so I just want to continue that, and I don't know how I'm going to do, 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 do that for right now. Uh, like I said, as of right now, I don't have a plan for running any games in any other systems or letting anyone else uh, run games on my my Twitch channel or playing in anyone else's games. Nothing. I have no plans for that whatsoever. But it's something I want to look into. Uh, so yeah. Um, this, this Daily December has been unique in a lot of the different ways. Like I said, it's uh, I believe it's it's effectively the first year where my Daily Decembers were more relaxing than they were a chore. And that was because I was so overwhelmed by the RPGs that Daily December seemed easy but, 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 but by comparison. Um, and, uh, I, I, I believe this is probably the most ambitious daily December I have ever did a done in the, let's see, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, in, in the nine years that I've did, 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 did done it, uh, this is by far the most, um, uh, the most work that I've put into it and, and, and the furthest I've pushed myself, which I'm, I'm proud of, but yeah, uh, probably won't be doing that again for a little bit, a bit. probably not till next year. So anyway, uh, for anyone that made it through uh, all 31 days, I thank you immensely because um, it, uh, uh, it means the world that people actually watch this, this, this stuff. Some of it's silly and some of it's pointless and some of it is really, really important to me and some of it just isn't. But, uh, you know, if you watched one or you watched all 31 or any other thing in between, I, I think you am immensely uh, because, yeah, um, I hope my hope every year is that other people will get something out of this other than just listening to me talk about random shit. Um, and I've had a few times where people have contacted me and let me know that they do get a lot out of this stuff. And that stuff means the world to me. Hearing that I have an impact on other people is huge. So, anyway, that is all for me. And I will see you guys next time. All right? Bye-bye.